John Legato Show. I'm John Legato. We want you guys to have uh, the right to film and do your jobs, but we need you guys to stay out of our crime scene. Thank you, that, sir. There's no all. tape. No tape, no crime. That's no crime. That's not no tape, no crime. There's been a crime. There's, there's no tape, no crime. In today's show, we're going to expel another favorite myth of auditors that police are required to immediately place tape around a crime scene. Put that tape up. Put that tape up. By law, you have to have that tape up. Yeah, you do. I'll show you the law. Spoiler alert. There ain't no law. The first auditor <laughs> stated no tape, no crime. This is ridiculous on its surface, and it's, it has no basis in fact. We're going to hear from two misinformed auditors. Here's a guy by the name of Public Tour. Public Tour here, back again with another video. Today we're on a cop watch, and we are checking out this accident that happened. I don't even know where it started, or anything like that. Crime scenes could be l as limited as a closet door or an acre of land surrounding a house. The fact that uh, Public Tour knows nothing about this particular crime scene makes everything he's about to say invalid and BS. Where's the tape at? You got tape up over here. You got to put tape up here. I'm on a sidewalk, my guy. Yeah, you have to put tape up if you don't want the media somewhere. That's the law. I know the law, sir. Step back over there. What's your name and badge number? It's Rushton Step over there. Step back You're over there. You're trying to intimidate me? Come on, dude. Back up. I'm not intimidate you. No, no, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. I'm on a public, public right away. Come over here, sir. I've asked you now. You're in our, one of our crime scenes. I'm asking you to back up nicely. That is what the law says. I'm very well aware of the law. Back What's your up across number? the street. Force 167. Oh, Look at this, you guys. Look at this. Back up. Uh, hold on. Watch, watch. watch. Hey, don't touch me. I'm trying not to we get just hit. Watch don't to touch me. Hit don't touch me. I know how to fucking walk. <laughs> Clearly not. You'll put some fucking tape up. I'm coming back over there. So let me say this uh, more clearly. There is no legal, federal, or state precedence the distances that police can set up for their crime scene. The police on scene determine the distance that auditors must maintain. Now, the, auditor, the auditors can take that to court. So let's return to auditor number two. Tape's going up right now, and then I can uh, have you go across the street. That'd be wonderful. I'm sorry, no, I didn't mean across the street, I meant just right over here. What did they cross the street? Across the street's really far away. Yeah, really I just need you to step back a little bit. Give it give my guy. to back away. No, he doesn't know how uh, well, to. I don't know how to either. Okay. Hey uh Bartlett, can you go out to the bushes and then run it across the bushes? Alright. So uh tape's going up, so I'm gonna put it uh, to the bushes over here. Can I ask you to step back here so we can put the tape up and then you're gonna be on the opposite side. Can I get your name and back number? Officer Lundgren, 970. DRC 618. Thank you. All right, so we're going to walk over here because my partner's going to come across with uh, with tape. You need to stop walking up close to me like that. Sir, I'm so, just trying to clear the scene. It's a crime scene. So Thank you for cooperation. See, he's going to run tape all the way across, so I need you to back up almost to this toilet. I heard you. I heard you. I really I sir, heard thank you. you. Thank you for cooperation, sir. So, uh, sir, you are inside the crime scene. I need you to, First, need please you to I am you. back in my way. I need you to back please, up. Please, sir, don't. Stop repeating. Sir, yourself, stop. I'm trying to be Shut up. Situation. We're almost there. We're doing great. I really, I really thank you, sir. your cooperation. And at this point, it's a moment. It is a moment. at this point, as you get to the other side of the tape, thank you. Now I'll go back away. Now there's outside. tape. Hey, Officer Darcy here is handling this auditor like a recruit at boot camp. I like this guy. He's giving crisp, clean commands. And no matter what the bravado of the auditor, I know that Darcy got his attention. At this point, as you get to the other side of the tape, thank you. Now I'll go back away. Now there's outside. tape. Tape, yes, tape, 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 tape. Shut up. Now that Officer Darcy has frightened the crap out of Auditor 2, let's get back to Auditor Number 1. I just want to remind you what Auditor Number 1 requested. And arrest me. Put some handcuffs on me. I dare you. By law, you have to have that tape up. Yeah, you do. I'll show you the law. I do this for a living. Let me be clear. There is no law mandating crime scene tape distances. That the auditor confuses a, a law with a case. He does say there are case law. But these were court cases that were not precedent. I mean, what's that mean? It means that they were based on an individual case and that these cases are not precedent, which would require any other case to follow their decision. 
Oh no, there's case law. There's case law to it. There's case law to it. There's case law to it. See, that's the proper way to tape up a crime scene. You see that, guys? You see that? You see that? Look, he's going to come back over and harass me some more. Even though I'm behind the tape. Sir, again, this is part of our crime scene. I need you to back up across the street. Well, why is I it the tape up over here? Yes, this. you do. I can verbally tell you where I No, you up. cannot. Lock me up. For what? For what? For what? This guy's name is Public Tour. Now, auditors always seem shocked when they get arrested. And for their supporters, it seems like they took one for the team. But Public Tour was fingerprinted, photographed, and placed in a cell. He had to get a bail bondsman or use his own money for a bond. Then he had to pay for an attorney and await a court date. It could go on for months or even years. So the next time Mr. Tour asked, And arrest me, put some handcuffs on me, I dare you. He may want to rethink his dare. The John Legato Show is being broadcast from outside the gates of Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune in beautiful North Carolina. If you like the show, subscribe. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything. We do not ask for personal information. You guys have a good day. Semper Fidelis.